Hello students, how are you? Now at last we are going to discuss the application of inverse of the matrices. Hope oh, everyone is healthy. So be careful and now let us start the short so part of this chapter that is application of the inverse of a matrix. Through this video lesson after learning you will be able to find whether the given system of equation is consistent or inconsistent and second you can solve the system of linear equation if it is consistent unique solution or infinitely many solution consistent system that means a system of equation it is said to be consistent if its solution exists if it have solution that solution may be unique or infinitely many means one solution or more than one solution then system is called consistent inconsistent system a system of equations is called inconsistent if it does not have solution So students, you have learned in class 10th also, the three conditions have taught unique solution, no solution and infinitely many solution. So here same thing, no solution. Then it is called inconsistent system. Now solution of the system of linear equation. Solution of system of linear equations suppose we have the system of equations like this a1x plus b1y plus c1z equal to d1 a2x plus b2y plus c2z equal to d2 a3x plus b3y plus c3z equal to d3 this is the system of linear equations. Above system can be expressed in terms of the product of matrices like this. This can be written as Ax equal to B where Ax and B are the matrices. Matrix of coefficients A1, B1, C1 A2 B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. Matrix X, it is X, Y, Z. And last matrix B, that is D1, D2, D3. So that I have written Ax equal to B. So here A is A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. And X is X, Y, Z. And matrix B is D1, D2, D3. A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. X, Y, Z equal to D1, D2, D3. A1 into X plus B1 into Y plus C1 into Z equal to D1. A2 into X plus B2 into Y plus C2 into Z equal to D2. A3 into X plus B3 into Y plus C3 into Z equal to D3. This way you can express the matrix in the form, system of equation in the form of matrix in the product matrix. So, if A is a non-singular matrix, then A inverse will exist. So, if A is non-singular, this is very important. If A is non-singular, only in this case, the A inverse will exist. 
a will be similar, a inverse will not exist. So what the equation I have written here, a x equal to b, multiplying by a inverse both the sides, a inverse into a x equal to a inverse into b or using associative property of the multiplication a inverse into a into x equal to a inverse b that is identity matrix into x equal to a inverse b you are getting x equal to a inverse b that result will help you to find the solution of the system of linear equation okay but matrix a is singular then what will happen so that is the things what i have to discuss matrix a is singular that means determinant a its value is zero so its value is zero in this case we calculate adjoint a into b this value is calculated first if adjoint a into b this value is non zero then solution does not exist in this case solution does not exist means no solution you can say or you can say system is inconsistent so these terms can be used if this one happens so students that you have seen a very interesting property if adjoint a into b is non-zero solution will not exist and the system is inconsistent if it is zero then both the things may be there system may be consistent or it may be inconsistent as it have infinitely many solution or no solution both the conditions are there accordingly we can say whether it will exist or not it is consistent or no. So now I am explaining them with the help of. So now the example use matrix method to examine the whether the given system of equation is consistent or inconsistent. So two equations are given x plus 3y equal to 5 and 2x plus 6y equal to 8. From class 10th it is very much clear that it will not have the solution a1 upon a2 equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2 but here we will not use that method we will use matrix method to find whether it is consistent or inconsistent so given system of equation is x plus 3y is equal to 5 and 2x plus 6y is equal to 8 this is the given system of equation so this can be written as in the form of matrix 1 3 2 6 x y equal to 5 8 this matrix is denoted as a this is as x this is as b so we can say it is written as ax equal to b so that is written where a is 1 3 2 6 x is x y and b is 5 8 so now determinant a that is 1 3 2 6 its value is 6 minus 6 that is 0 so it is 0 that means this matrix is a singular matrix now if it is singular matrix that means inverse will not exist so it is very much clear a inverse will not so we will go for adjoint 
and we will find adjoint A into matrix B. For adjoint, we need cofactors. So matrix A is non-similar, so we will calculate adjoint A into B. So let A i j denotes the cofactors. Cofactor of A i j. So A one one minus one to power one plus one. First row, first column. That's value six. A one two. Minus one to power one plus two first row second column that is minus two a two one minus one to power two plus one second row first column so minus three and a two two second row second column they are deleted so you are getting one that value is one so adjoint a That is six minus two minus three one. It's a transpose. That's a value. What you are getting is six minus two minus three one. Now adjoint A into B. Adjoint is here six minus three minus two one, and matrix B. That's value is what value? Five eight yes, five eight multiplying it. What we are getting? Six into five thirty minus three into eight twenty four. Five into minus two ten plus eight into one eight. That is six minus two. This is not zero. What first condition I have written? adjoint a into b is non zero then system is inconsistent and inconsistent means there will be no solution so no need to proceed further hence system will not have solution so no solution so this is very much clear now this example Next example is use matrix method to examine whether the given system of linear equation is consistent or inconsistent for the system. If they are given as 2x minus y plus 3z equal to 5, 3x plus 2y minus z Equal to seven, and last four x plus five y minus five z equal to nine. Given system of equation is this one. It can be expressed in terms of matrices like this: two minus one three. First row, coefficient of x y z three two minus one second, and four. Five minus five x y z equal to five seven nine. You can call this matrix as A x B. Matrix A is two minus one three three two minus one four five minus five, and matrix X is x y z, and matrix B is Five seven nine. So where matrix A, it is two minus one three three two minus one four five minus five. Matrix X X Y Z and matrix B is five seven nine. So first we will find whether it is singular or non-singular for matrix A. So determinant A that is two minus one three three two minus one four five minus five. Expanding it along any row, I am expanding here along first row. 
to minus 10 minus minus plus 5 minus minus plus 1 minus 15 minus minus plus 4 plus 3 15 minus 8 so this way you are getting its value where minus 5 into 2 minus 10 minus 11 and 7 into 3 21 that's value is 0 so that means matrix is no sorry it is a singular matrix and if it is singular matrix again inverse will not exist and if inverse will not exist then we will go for adjoint a into p adjoint a into b this value we need so first cofactors so let a i j this denotes the cofactors cofactor of a i j so a 1 1 minus 1 to power 1 plus 1 first row first columns 2 into minus 5 minus 10 minus minus plus so that value is minus 5 a 1 2 first row second column first row second column so 3 into minus 5 minus 15 minus 4 into minus 1 plus so minus 11 that becomes plus 11 a 1 3 minus 1 to power 1 plus 3 first row third column 3 into 5 15 minus 4 into 2 8 so 15 minus 8 that is 7 a 2 1 minus 1 to power 2 plus 1 second row first column minus 1 into minus 5 5 minus 3 into 5 minus 15 minus 10 that becomes plus 10 after that a 2 2 minus 1 to power 2 plus 2 second row second column so 2 into minus 5 minus 10 minus 3 into 4 minus 12 that is minus 22 a 2 3 second row third column second row third column so 2 into 5 10 minus 1 into 4 plus 4 so minus 14 a 3 1 minus 1 to power 3 plus 1 first row sorry first column third row third row first column minus 1 into minus 1 1 2 into 3 6 minus 5 a 3 2 minus 1 to power 3 plus 2 third row second column 2 into minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 into 3 minus 9 minus 11 and minus minus plus 11 and last a 3 3 minus 1 to power 3 plus 3 third row third column 2 into 2 4 minus minus plus 3 that is 7 so this all nine cofactors are calculated now we will find adjoint a so adjoint a is a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 a 3 2 a 3 3 it's a transpose that is a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 a 2 1 a 2 2 a 2 3 a 3 1 a 3 2 a 3 3 and this way we can find the adjoint a so substituting the values of cofactors we are getting adjoint a so that value will be minus 5 10 minus 5 first row that becomes 11 
minus 22 and 11 and last one is 7 minus 14 7 now the next step that you have to find adjoint A into B so adjoint A is given so substituting that value minus 5 10 minus 5 11 minus 22 11 7 minus 14 7 and B yes what was the B 5 uh, 7 9 yes multiplying it what we are getting 5 minus 5 into 5 minus 25 plus 10 into 7 70 minus 45 11 into 5 55 minus 22 into 7 plus 11 into 9 last 7 into 5 14 into 7 and 7 into 9 that's value is 0 0 0 so that is a null matrix so here we have proved that adjoint a into b which is 0 second condition the system may be consistent or inconsistent system may be consistent or inconsistent so let one solution let z equal to lambda it is a real number that solution is taken for third and substituting the value in equation first and second one and two so we have 2x minus y is equal to 5 minus 3 lambda and 3x plus 2y equal to 7 plus lambda now we will proceed again with the same method this can be written as in matrix form like 2 minus 1 3 2 x y equal to 5 minus 3 lambda and 7 plus lambda that means you can say e y equal to d 2 minus 1 3 2 y is x y and d is 5 minus 3 lambda and 7 plus lambda now again we will go for the same way determinant e that is 2 minus 1 3 2 4 minus minus plus 3 7 it is non-zero so here we have got this determinant matrix A is non-singular matrix because value of the determinant is 7 which is a non-zero so matrix E is invertible now we have to find the cofactor of matrix E cofactor and we can say y equal to E inverse D like previous ones this can be 10 so let E i j it is the cofactor of E i j in this determinant so writing this value E11 minus 1 to power 1 plus 1 first row first column that's value is 2 e12 first row second column first row second column that's value is 3 so minus 3 e21 minus 1 to power 2 plus 1 second row first column minus 1 so that's value plus 1 and e22 that is minus 1 to power 2 plus 2 second row second column 2 that's value 2 so at joint e it will be 
E11, E12, E21, E22, it's a transpose. That is 2 minus 3, 1, 2. This way, adjoint E is calculated. Now we will find inverse of the matrix E. E inverse is 1 upon determinant E into adjoint E. Students, what was the value of determinant E? Previously you have calculated. Yes, its value was 7. So 1 upon 7 and adjoint E is 2, 1, minus 3, 2. And now we can use the relation y equal to E inverse T. y is xy that is written here. So matrix xy is equal to E inverse 1 upon 7 2 1 minus 3 2 and matrix D is 5 minus 3 lambda and 7 plus lambda. Multiplying them 2 into 5 minus 3 lambda plus 1 into 7 plus lambda that we are getting 17 minus 5 lambda and 5 minus 3 lambda multiplied by minus 3 plus 2 into 7 plus lambda that is minus 1 plus 11 lambda. This is the value of x, y. So simplifying and equating x, y is 17 minus 5 lambda upon 7 and minus 1 plus 11 lambda upon 7. From here by equating we get x equal to 17 minus 5 lambda upon 7 and y equal to 1 plus minus 1 plus 11 lambda upon 7. So this will be the relation x and y. Therefore solution of this system is x equal to 17 minus 5 lambda upon 7 y equal to minus 1 plus 11 lambda upon 7 and z equal to lambda. So this satisfies the third equation and so given system of equation is consistent that we are using and it is having infinitely many solutions. So this way you can solve this system of equation. Solve the system of equation using matrix method. System is equations are given 2x plus 3y plus 3z equal to 5. First, x minus 2y plus z equal to minus 4. Second equation, and 3x minus y minus 2z equal to 3. Third equation. This system of linear equations can be written as ax equal to b, where a equal to 2, 3, 3 b sorry second 1 minus 2 1 and third 3 minus 1 minus 2 capital x matrix is x y z and b matrix is 5 minus 4 3 so this way you can represent it as now we will go that matrix a is singular or non singular determinant a determinant a is 2 into 4 minus minus plus 1 minus 3 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 minus 1 into 3 3 plus 3 1 into minus 1 is minus 4. 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 to minus minus plus 2 into 5 10 minus 5 into minus 3 15 and 5 into 3 15 that is 40 which is non zero hence matrix a is a non singular matrix and as we come to know that it is non singular that means inverse will exist therefore now it can be say a inverse exist so first step is completed second we will find cofactors of the determinant A. So let 
ए आई जे डिनोट्स द को फैक्टर ऑफ ए आई जे इन दिस सो अकॉर्डिंगली वी हैव टू फाइंड दीज को फैक्टर फर्स्ट को फैक्टर ए वन वन माइनस वन टू पावर वन प्लस वन फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट कॉलम दीज एलिमेंट्स आर डिलीटेड सो फोर माइनस माइनस प्लस थर्ड वैल्यू इज फाइव ए वन टू फर्स्ट रो सेकेंड कॉलम फर्स्ट रो सेकेंड कॉलम सो दैट वैल्यू इज माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस माइनस प्लस ए वन थ्री फर्स्ट रो थर्ड कॉलम फर्स्ट रो थर्ड कॉलम सो माइनस वन माइनस माइनस प्लस सिक्स सो फाइव ए टू वन माइनस वन टू पावर टू प्लस वन सेकेंड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम सेकेंड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम सो थ्री इंटू माइनस टू माइनस सिक्स माइनस माइनस प्लस थ्री सो माइनस थ्री एंड माइनस माइनस बिकम्स प्लस ए टू टू माइनस वन टू पावर टू प्लस टू सेकेंड रो सेकेंड कॉलम सो माइनस फोर माइनस नाइन माइनस थर्टीन ए टू थ्री सेकेंड रो थर्ड कॉलम सेकेंड रो थर्ड कॉलम माइनस टू माइनस नाइन माइनस एलेवन एंड दैट बिकम्स प्लस थर्ड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम थर्ड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम थ्री माइनस माइनस प्लस सिक्स नाइन थर्ड रो सेकेंड कॉलम थर्ड रो सेकेंड कॉलम सो टू माइनस थ्री माइनस वन दैट इज वन ए थ्री थ्री दैट इज माइनस वन टू पावर थ्री प्लस थ्री एलिमेंट्स थर्ड रो थर्ड कॉलम दे आर डिलीटेड सो थर्ड रो थर्ड कॉलम दे आर डिलीटेड सो माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री दैट इज माइनस सेवन दिस वे ऑल नाइन को फैक्टर्स आर कैलकुलेटेड सो एट ज्वाइंट ऑफ ए एट ज्वाइंट ऑफ ए इज ए वन वन ए वन टू ए वन थ्री ए टू वन ए टू टू ए टू थ्री ए थ्री वन ए थ्री टू ए थ्री थे आर ट्रांसपोज सो सब्सिट्यूटिंग दीज वैल्यूज फाइव 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 ए टू वन ए टू टू थ्री माइनस थर्टीन एंड एलेवन लास्ट नाइन वन एंड माइनस सेवन इट्स ट्रांसपोज सो फाइनली एट ज्वाइंट इज फाइव 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 फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट कॉलम थ्री माइनस थर्टीन एलेवन सेकेंड रो सेकेंड कॉलम नाइन वन माइनस सेवन दिस इज द एट ज्वाइंट ए नाउ ए इनवर्स इज वन अपॉन determinant a into adjoint a this value was 40 and here you are having this one 5 3 9 5 minus 13 1 5 11 minus 7 that you have got a inverse of this matrix now finally to get the solution we will use x equal to a inverse b x is x y z a inverse 1 upon 40 5 5 5 3 13 11 9 1 and what was the matrix b yes 5 4 3 after getting this relation simplifying this and equating 5 into 5 25 3 into 4 12 9 into 3 27 5 into 
25. Minus 13 into minus 4. And 1 into 3. 5 into 5. 11 into 4. And 7 into 3. This way you are getting 40, 80 and minus 40. Dividing by 40, so 1, 2, minus 1. And this way we are getting x equal to 1, y equal to 2 and z equal to minus 1. That is the solution. So you can solve a student this question like this. So use the product this 5382011235 minus 2735 minus 5711 4 minus 7 minus 6 to solve this system of equation. Means first we have to find the product. After that whatever the result we are getting from that result we have to solve this system of equation. We have not to solve directly as in previous question. Here we have to adopt a new method, another method that is different from the first one. So first we will find the product of these two matrices. Let first matrix is denoted as A and second matrix is denoted as B. So we will find this product AB is 5, 3, 8. 2, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3 and minus 2, 7, 3, minus 5, 7, 11, 4, minus 7, minus 6. Its result, what we are getting? 5 into minus 2, minus 10, 3 into minus 5, minus 15, minus 10 minus 15 minus 25 8 into 4 32 that is 7 minus 2 into 2 minus 4 0 into 5 0 1 into 4 0 4 minus 4 plus 4 0 1 into minus 2 minus 2 2 into minus 5 minus 10 3 into 4 12 so minus 2 minus 10 plus 12 again 0 so we are getting this way 7 0 0 0, 7, 0 and 0, 0, 7. So what you are getting from diagonal matrix where all elements are 7 taking common 7 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 it is identity matrix so that can be written as 7, i and we have discussed if product of two matrices is the identity matrix then one matrix is the inverse of other matrix so AB is 7i now we have to find A inverse so multiplying by A inverse both the side A inverse AB equal to 7 A inverse I or using associative property a inverse A into B is 7A inverse or identity matrix into B equal to 7A inverse and this way we can say B equal to 7A inverse or A inverse is 1 upon 7B. Students why I have calculated A inverse not B inverse? Yes because a is the matrix of the coefficients of the linear equation what was given in the question. So A is the matrix of the coefficients of the linear equation what was given in there. So A inverse is 1 upon 7 and value of determinant so matrix B is minus 2, 7, 3 minus 5, 7, 11 and 4, minus 7, minus 6. So this way you have calculated A inverse where A is and B is there. A and B are already given. This way you can calculate. So now 
given system of equation is again I am taking from starting given system is 5x plus 3y plus 8z equal to 1 2x there is no y so you can write 0y plus z equal to 1 and last x plus 2y plus 3z equal to 3 these are the three equations this system can be written as ax equal to c a is 5 3 8 2 0 1 1 2 3 x is x y z and c is 1 1 3 and now x equal to a inverse c that is x y z equal to 1 upon 7 a inverse that was equal to b so minus 2 7 3 minus 5 7 11 4 minus 7 minus 6 and c is 1 1 x y z matrix x equal to 1 by 7 minus 2 into 1 minus 2 plus 7 into 1 7 plus 3 into 3 9 minus 5 into 1 minus 5 plus 7 into 1 7 plus 11 into 3 33 4 into 1 4 minus 7 into 1 minus 7 minus 6 into 3 minus 15 so 1 upon 7 14 35 and at last 21 that is 2 5 minus 3 equating we get x equal to 2 y equal to 5 and z equal to minus 3 if matrix a is 2 minus 3 5 3 2 minus 4 and 1 1 minus 2 find a inverse and hence means using this inverse solve this system of equation 2x minus 3y plus 5z equal to 11 3x plus 2y minus 4z equal to minus 5 x plus y minus 2z equal to minus 3 so given matrix a 2 minus 3 5 3 2 minus 4 1 1 2 to find inverse we know that matrix should be non singular so first we will find determinant 2 minus 3 5 3 2 minus 4 1 1 minus 2 why here it is said using this if you see matrix a is the matrix of coefficient of these equations x y z that is why we have to use we have not to find again and again inverse so determinant a is this one so its value is 2 into minus 4 plus 4 minus minus 3 into minus 6 plus 4 and last 5 3 minus 2 finally its value is minus 1 which is non zero so again we have got that the matrix is non singular and if it is non singular then you can say the matrix a is invertible a inverse exist so as we come to know that a inverse exist then our process starts to find the cofactor of the determinants so let a i j denotes the cofactors of a i j 
So we have to find all nine cofactors using this result. A11 that is minus 1 to power 1 plus 1. That's the value is minus 4 plus 4. That is 0. A12 minus 1 to power 1 plus 2 its value minus 6 plus 4 minus 2 and this d minus becomes plus plus 2 a 1 3 minus 1 to power 1 plus 3 elements of first row and third column are deleted that's value is 3 minus 2 that is 1 so first three cofactors are 0 2 1 now a 2 1 minus 1 to power 2 plus 1 second row first column so 6 minus 5 6 minus 5 1 and it becomes minus 1 a 2 2 second row second column second row second column minus 4 minus 5 minus 9 and a 2 3 minus 1 to power 2 plus 3 second row third column 2 minus minus plus 3 that value minus 5 after that a 3 1 minus 1 to power 3 plus 1 third row first column 12 minus 10 that is 2 then a 3 2 and a 3 3 a 3 2 minus 1 to power 3 plus 2 third row second column that's value is minus 8 minus 15 minus 23 and due to this it becomes plus 23 and a 3 3 minus 1 to power 3 plus 3 third row third column 4 minus minus plus 9 that is 13. So all nine cofactors are calculated. So now we will find adjoint A. So we have to find adjoint A now. So adjoint A is transpose of the matrix of the cofactor A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33 they are transpose. Substituting these values 0, 2, 1, minus 1, minus 9, minus 5, 2, 23, 13 transpose so first row becomes first column 0 to 1 0 to 1 second row minus 1 minus 9 minus 5 that become second column minus 1 minus 9 minus 5 third row 2 23 and 13 this become third column 2 23 13 so now a inverse is 1 upon determinant a into adjoint a substituting these value determinant a that was minus 1 so this way the inverse we can calculate and finally a inverse is 0 1 minus 2 0 1 minus 2 minus 2 9 minus 23 and minus 1 5 and 13 so this is the A inverse and the system of equation that was given again system of equation which was given in beginning that was 2x minus 3y plus 5z equal to ln 3x plus 2y minus 4z equal to minus 5 and x plus y minus 2z equal to minus 3 this system is given it can be written as as we have written in every question to solve the equation not others that is ax equal to b where a is 2 minus 3 5 3 2 minus 4 
1 1 minus 2 and x is x y z and b is 11 minus 5 minus 3 this is the b so, so having these values we know a inverse we know system of equation we know other matrices so this way we can find the solution since matrix a is invertible so a inverse exists since a is invertible this means x equal to a inverse b so x equal to a inverse b matrix x that is x y z a inverse 0 1 minus 2 minus 2 9 minus 23 minus 1 5 minus 30 and b matrix 11 minus 5 minus 3 simplifying them multiplying them and after that equating so we are getting here 0 minus 5 plus 6 minus 22 minus 45 plus 69 minus 11 minus 25 plus 39 and values are 1 2 3 this way we are getting x equal to 1 y equal to 2 and z equal to 3 so this is the answer of this question now solve these questions for the practice so that what you have learned your knowledge can be firm and you can also be confirmed that you have thank you students have a nice day and now the chapter is over so after some time we will meet for the next chapter